Welcome back to another round of Composers and Cocktails, sponsored by Cincinnati Song Initiative. So this week's featured guest is Lori Lakeman. She's a composer of art song, opera, and various choral works. And the drink that she wants to be drinking during her interview is the classic margarita. So what I'm gonna be doing for you today is making two different margarita drinks, Lori's own recipe, as well as the recipe that I have come to love. So first I'll be making Lori's recipe which is called the Kirby. Kirby is named after her Shih Tzu, Ian Kirby, who recently turned 15 years old. So, happy birthday, Kirby. And what we're gonna need is tequila, orange juice, fresh squeezed, uh, fresh lemon juice, club soda float, and agave syrup. So let's start by putting in our non-alcoholic ingredients. Uh, she calls for two oranges freshly squeezed. Half a lemon, freshly squeezed. Then we're gonna put in one ounce of tequila. And then after a one ounce of tequila, we're gonna put in a teaspoon, a teaspoon, a teaspoon. It's also tasty, a teaspoon of agave syrup. Great. So once we get that completed, we're gonna cover up our tin, add about, I don't know, six pieces of ice. Um, these are bigger pieces of ice, so I'm gonna put about four to five pieces in. Cover on up. And my favorite part is the shake. So, I'm going to research the story of the margarita and the background of it. And there's a lot of different stories of how the margarita came to be. But the one thing that was consistent was that it was made during the Prohibition era. And originally it was called the Daisy. And the Daisy used the same ingredients as the margarita generally, as a citrus base. It has a uh, liquor base. And it has a sweetener, so a simple syrup, or in our case, agave. But the liquor for the Daisy was actually brandy, which I thought was pretty interesting. The margarita, as you all know and love, is a tequila-based drink. Oh, hello! You're exploding. Awesome. So that is the Kirby. <clears throat> now, I'm going to make for you my favorite margarita drink. I'm just going to restock our ice really quickly. So what you're going to need for my drink is tequila, dry curacao, uh, a simple syrup or agave syrup. We're going to use the agave since we already used it for the Kirby. And we are also going to use fresh squeezed lime juice. Um, dry curacao is essentially a fancier, boozier triple sec. Triple sec refers to triple, meaning it's been uh, distilled three different times in the spices. And the sec, which is the bitter curacao orange peels that have been steeped in cognac and brandy. So it's a pretty boozy finish, which is why we curb it with the agave or simple. Uh, so my recipe actually uses an ounce and a half of tequila. It uses a half an ounce of the dry curacao. And this is a Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. And then it uses three fourths of an ounce of lime. And then a half an ounce of, of the agave or the simple syrup. Now, when you go out to restaurants and you get your margarita and you see it really brightly colored uh, green, it's probably a sign that it's a very, very sweet drink. The clearer the drink, the more natural it is and the less sugars it, it actually has. Uh, so, that's just for you when you're out on the streets, not making your own drink. Just to see. So my favorite margarita I've ever had was actually from the 
Chiba Taqueria in Ithaca, New York, and I have yet to find a margarita that tastes like that one. So if you find it, please send me some. I love a Viva margarita. Um, this recipe I've actually learned from my boss at my most recent establishment. And I love, 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 love her recipe. So, we have Lori's, the Kirby. I'm gonna take a little sip of it. Mm. And then, we're gonna take, taste my classic margarita recipe. Mm. Also really good. So, I will see you Thursday for Lori's interview. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy your margarita. Have a good night.